Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I have a what's for dinner video for you today. It has been so long since I have put one of these videos up and I actually have a small announcement about these videos. I'm probably not going to continue doing them. If I do, it definitely, definitely will not be on a regular basis. I have been doing what's for dinner videos for literally probably seven or eight years now. And to be honest, I'm just completely burnt out. I used to do them every single week for years and years and years. And then I dropped down to like every two weeks and then every three weeks. And now it's like a once a month thing. So I definitely won't be doing them on a regular basis anymore. I'm sorry if that's disappointing, but I just do not have the time anymore between my job, my side hustles that I do with my reselling business, all my son's extracurricular activities. It's just too hard, to be honest. I'm not saying I'll never put another dinner video out, but they're definitely not going to be on regular rotation anymore. So just wanted to get that out of the way first and foremost. This here was a curried cauliflower and a curried chicken over basmati rice. And then the next clip here is just like some Spanish style rice with some soft tacos, just traditional beef tacos on the sweet Hawaiian flour tortilla street tacos. My rice had green olives. My husband's didn't because he doesn't like green olives. And then I just topped our tacos with cheese, lettuce, tomato, and I did give my husband some sour cream on the side. This next clip here is this locally made um, Italian sausage. I can't remember where I purchased it, but I wouldn't repurchase it. I didn't love it. And then I used this Parmigiano Reggiano sauce. I cooked up the sausage and just simmered it in that sauce. The sauce was delicious, but the sausage was just okay. I did do the Rana brand skillet gnocchi, and then I tossed it together with the sausage and sauce. Um, it was, the gnocchi was great, the sauce was great, but just not a fan of that particular sausage and obviously wouldn't repurchase it again. I do love these gnocchi, especially because they get kind of crispy on the outside and they're soft on the inside. So if you ever see them, I highly recommend trying them if you like gnocchi because they are really tasty. So that is what we had for dinner that night. I believe this night we also had side salads, but this clip was from last month. So I'm just now getting to editing this video. Here is some thick cut grilled pork chops. We just have some sweet baby raised barbecue sauce and some asparagus. I also made steamed broccoli in the house and that was just some penne pasta with a little bit of that leftover sauce from the night before with the gnocchi. It was a good way to use that sauce up and that's what we had for dinner on this night. This here is a shrimp noodle casserole. Think tuna noodle casserole, but with shrimp, I just use like little mini tiny salad shrimp. You can see a few here mixed in. So I just did it the traditional way. You would make a tuna noodle casserole, but instead of the tuna, I just substituted shrimp because I don't like or eat tuna. I actually don't like or eat any fish, but it came out really tasty and we had plenty of leftovers. Here is a turkey meatloaf I made. I just brushed it with Sweet Baby Ray's to create a kind of glaze on top. I also roasted up some potatoes with the skin on, and it was just a really good dinner. I love meatloaf. I love turkey meatloaf or beef meatloaf, and this was the dinner here with the potatoes, the meatloaf, and I did do some steamed glazed carrots, just a little bit of butter and honey on them, and it was really tasty, and we had leftovers for lunch the next day. Moving on to the next clip, I did the beer can chicken. I have talked about this and shown this before. Um, we I just use this, this seasoning packet here. I get it from Walmart. We did buy the beer can chicken stand, I think at Lowe's or Amazon. I can't remember. And you just put the bird on, you throw it on the grill for an hour and a half to two hours until it's fully cooked and comes up to temperature. And then of course we let it rest. So all the juice is redistributed. And I forgot to get a final clip, but it was delicious. The next clip here, we are trying these green giant garlic, zucchini, and Parmesan veggie fries. These were pretty good. Um, they weren't the best thing I've ever tried, but they were definitely more than edible. And we just had some Nathan's cheddar dogs with some meat sauce on top with the zucchini fries on the side. 
and it was actually pretty tasty. I don't think I'd buy those fries again, but they were not bad by any means. The next clip here is good old sausage, peppers, and onions. This is a dish I make at least once a month all year round. This is hot Italian sausage. Um, this wasn't my favorite sausage either. It was also like a local brand. I would not repurchase it again, but the dinner was fine. We just had a side of, I think it was rice and risotto, like a blend of a pilaf type of vibe. And I just thought I would throw this clip in here really quick. This is a salad I've been eating a lot for lunch. So it's edamame. You can buy it in the frozen section. I just put it right in frozen. It thaws out quickly. I've got pickled beets, English cucumber, pepperoni, and green olives. And then I just take some romaine or baby spinach. It's really good with romaine because it's crispy. And then I spin it in my salad spinner. Obviously, you can just clean it in like a colander. And then I put all those toppings on top of the romaine. And I add some balsamic vinaigrette dressing, some grated, um, like some uh, parm cheese in the shaker. This is a dressing I've been loving. If you like balsamic, I recommend this if you like that flavor. But it's really tasty and I've been having it for lunch. This next clip here is just some French style cut green beans. I did egg noodles and then I just made some beef Swedish meatballs. I just had like a McCormick mix and it was really tasty. So this next clip here, I am making a sausage, peppers, and onion pasta bake. I love making pasta bakes. It's pretty much you just cook pasta, any kind you want, and you can use any meat or no meat, any veggies, any ingredients you want. Toss it all together with some cheese and bake it. It is just super delicious comfort food for me. For like the sauce element, I used a little tomato paste, a little pesto here, just some jarred pesto, and then some starchy pasta water just to loosen everything up. And of course, I seasoned it well. And then I just poured it into a um, 9 by 13 baking dish. I layered it with cheese. I layered it with more pasta and then more cheese, kind of lasagna style. And just pop it in the oven since everything's cooked. It just needs to kind of get melty and crispy on the top. And I love making these. I did want to remind too that if you, I since I'm not on an upload schedule anymore, if you want to be notified when a new video on my channel goes live, make sure you hit the bell notification just because that is your best way to know immediately when I upload since I no longer do it on a schedule. That's just the best way. So yes, I top it with cheese, pop it in the oven, um, 20 minutes, 350. And I make these all the time. I don't know, every couple weeks or so. It was absolutely delicious. It makes a ton. We ate leftovers the next day for lunch. We did also have a side salad with this and we topped with a little Parmesan cheese. The next clip here, which was like a week later because I forgot to film, for a week before this next clip, this is a turkey, ground turkey, black bean, sweet potato, chili with corn, obviously tomato sauce, diced fire roasted tomatoes. I added some chicken broth and I just cooked everything on the stovetop just until the turkey was done. And then I threw it into a crock pot on low for about three to four hours and it came out perfect. It was absolutely delicious. Uh, no pasta on the bottom. We just used the sweet potato for the carb and we just plated it up a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese on top and it was super good and a little bit healthier of an alternative. Sorry about the fogging up of the lens. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, this is my last dinner video for a while. So I do hope you enjoyed it. I do have an entire playlist of these linked down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.